15, what is the equation of the line that passes through the point negative 9, 6 and is perpendicular to the line y equals 3x minus 5? So the key word here is perpendicular. This question is on almost every Regents test, um, but they'll give it to you two ways. They'll either give you parallel or perpendicular. If it's parallel, the two lines have the same slope. If it's perpendicular, the new line has the negative reciprocal slope of what the original line has. So this original line has a slope of 3. Our line is going to have a slope of negative 1 third. It's the opposite sign and take the inverse. So it's 1 over 3. All right, and then we can plug this into, and by the way, it has to be in y equals mx plus b format for this to work. If it's in standard form, like ax plus by equals c, you have to rearrange it so that y is by itself, and then you can pick off the slope. Um, okay, so now we have the slope, and we have a point, so that's enough. That's enough for us to find the equation of a line. And the way to do that is to plug in the point and the slope, and the only thing we don't know is b. So we do... Y, we're plugging into y equals mx plus b, and we're making a substitution of 6 for y, negative 9 for x, and the new slope that we just determined. The only thing we don't know is b. We'll find that out. So 6 equals negative 1 third times negative 9. I'm going to put parentheses here just to make it clear that we're not adding and subtracting. And plus b. b is the only thing we don't know. 6 equals negative 1 third times negative 9 is positive 3 plus b. Subtract 3 from both sides. b must be 3. So the final answer is, so now that we found b, we plug that back into y equals mx plus b. We know the slope and we know the y-intercept. So y equals negative 1 third x plus 3. And that corresponds to choice 4.